years, under their great old tribal leader, Shamul, the mountain people of the Caucasus had stubbornly resisted Russian rule. In 1850, matters reached a climax when the young warrior Haji Murad, a loyal follower of Shamul, took active leadership and gave battle to the oppressors. By his daring and cunning generalship in the field, Haji became known as the White Warrior. Nicholas I, Tsar of all the Russias, personally ordered stern countermeasures. Nicholas, these are the tactics we plan to follow. Now, if your majesty will put two more regiments at our disposal, we will finally be in a situation where we can proceed to organize a mass attack. Our strategy in this area... Your strategy, these tactics, attack! And now you want two regiments. Two regiments. You speak of them as if it were a game of some kind. You're like so many children who amuse themselves at playing soldier. If Aronsov is an idiot, you're not one bit better than he is. Your plans are certainly equally disastrous. A few mountaineers, riffraff, are able to keep an entire army stalemated. Why, it's incredible! It's you who gather the medals, but it's I who pay for them. They cost me millions of rubles, these fine decorations. This one cost seven million rubles. And this one cost another ten million rubles. I'm tired of it. From this moment on, I shall act alone. Everything that concerns this campaign will be under my direct supervision. Understand? And I give you my guarantee that this war will end quickly. Now what do you want? Forgive me, Your Majesty. Princess Maria has arrived. Now take back these trinkets of yours for whatever they're worth. And now get out! Ah, yes, the princess. I'm coming at once. Go ahead of me. Your Majesty. How do you do, Maria? You always wear an enchanting perfume. I dare say it's French, isn't it? It's really a terrible pity that you happen to be my goddaughter. You inspire me with feelings of quite a different kind. Please sit down. I have something to tell you, Maria. <clears throat> it's something that concerns your husband. Has anything happened to him? He is an idiot, Maria. <laughs> For a moment, I thought perhaps it was something serious. Oh, well, it's true, Your Majesty. Sergei is certainly far from brilliant, but... I'm delighted to know that you agree with me, Maria. In that case, you won't be surprised when I tell you of my decision. And I think that you too will be convinced that I could make no other choice. It's the order which will relieve him of his command. You see, Maria, your husband has many enemies, and up to now he has conducted the campaign in a way that is hardly satisfactory. He has made no progress at all in the war against the rebels, and he doesn't know how to do anything except ask for soldiers and money. Always soldiers and money! But your husband has one saving grace that renders him very dear to my heart. 
And that is his perfectly enchanting wife. Your Majesty is too kind. I could easily be a great deal more so, Malia. I, I don't think Your Majesty could possibly be more kind. A father could surely not be more so. You see, I really should submit your husband to an inquiry. Instead, I'm going to give him the opportunity to reestablish himself. Would you be willing to leave St. Petersburg tomorrow morning in order to join him at the front? If Your Majesty wishes it. Very well. Now listen, Maria. You are to give him this. It is my personally written authorization to negotiate with the enemy. It should not be difficult. I am sure those rebels are as weary as I am of this war that has been dragging on all these years. And they're bound to come to terms. King Shamil is old. The Caucasian tribes have elected new chiefs, young and ambitious men who will gladly ally themselves with us if we offer them position and honors. Those are things which exert an enormous attraction upon the people who live among those desolate mountains and which cost absolutely nothing. All we have to do is to find one. All the rest will follow him. Have you happened to hear of Haji Murad? Unfortunately, he has given us more trouble than I care to think about in these last three years. Haji he Murad. is the youngest of the Caucasian tribal chiefs, and his people consider him an invincible hero. If we could negotiate with him, we could end the war. I'm certain that Sergei will do his very best, Your Majesty. Yes, but I expect a good deal more than his best. That's the reason I'm sending you out there. As you see, Maria, I have great faith in your ability to accomplish what I wish. Thank you, and I assure you, I will try to be worthy of it, Your Majesty. And after it is all over, my dear, I will anxiously await your triumphal return to St. Petersburg. <laughs> Aren't you worried, Princess Maria? Why on earth should I be? Aren't you afraid of the rebels? You forget, Louise, that we have an escort of Uhlans. Hmm. I don't believe there's anything that would be able to stop Haji Murad. The White Warrior? You know his nickname, too? His fame has spread all the way to court. It seems that he is truly an extraordinary man. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't mind at all meeting him face to face. Gracious heaven, protect us. myself what are you doing give me that I'm sorry my lady this is not what we want I don't understand you don't want to rob us our baggage is up there take it at once and let us go you may keep your luggage we wouldn't have disturbed you if it hadn't been for your escort it aroused our suspicions we're not robbers. 
I'm sorry about him, too. But your people and my people are at war. War? You are rebels against the Tsar. I'd like to know how you dare to place yourselves upon the same level as the Russian soldiers. You're absolutely right. We're not upon the same level. We only kill soldiers. They kill women and children. There's a great difference. Let's go, men. As you see, the hero has come back to us again. You might say he's a very lucky man, as nothing is impossible for him. The people are all devoted to him. That is, until Allah grows tired of showering favors upon him. I bid you welcome, Haji Murad. We're all happy to have you among us once more, safe and sound. You are the only chieftain who was still missing from our assembly. I've been lucky, King Shamil. We've had several skirmishes with the Russians, and we've taken much booty. I brought you a gift. This Russian saber. As you see, the others are already here. Osnan Yamuiti and his riders and Ibrahim Bey, Sultan of the Riyadh with his brave fighting men. And here is Ahmed Khan with his tribes. Come, the other chiefs are waiting for us. The Terek River flows through here. If we could only use it for navigation, it would be the best route by which to reach the valley. But now this is impossible. The fort of Tabarazan has blockaded the river with its heavy artillery. It is the key to the entire valley. If we could manage to silence it, the mouths of those cannon would no longer interfere with our freedom of movement. It is at this point that we must concentrate our forces. With a long and unrelenting siege, Tabarazan will finally have to capitulate. Oh, great Shamil, it would be sheer madness to try to overcome the resistance of that fortress. We have already lost a great many men in our unsuccessful attempts to assault it. Nevertheless, if Tabarasan were ours, the Black Mountains would then be impregnable. We must make another attempt. That fortress is nothing but a trap. No one has the right to risk the lives of our fighting men in a campaign that is so utterly futile. You may win further glory from it, Haji Murad, but how many lives is it going to cost us? How what do you mean by insulting him? Why are you hostile to Haji Murad? Haji Murad has spoken well. He has always risked his own life ten times over before he would expose a single one of his soldiers to unnecessary danger. I believe he has a plan in mind. I do, but I won't discuss it. I'll act alone as usual. If we give up the attack on Tabarasan, we must also give up the Black Mountains. The Russians will occupy them, and before long, every pass will be defended by a Russian fort. King Shamil, let me remind you of something. He who holds the Black Mountains is the master of the Caucasus. That is why I will risk the lives of my men and my own to take that fort. Forgive me, noble Haji Murad. Your courage and your unbounded generosity transform all our apprehensions into admiration for your boldness and your spirit of self-sacrifice. Keep your plan a secret by all means. I am certain that you will triumph. Only permit me to embrace you in the name of all of us. The headquarters of the Russians at Tiflis were maintained elegantly in the midst of the barbaric country they were trying to pacify. Here, Prince Sergei, Maria's husband, was in command. Her long journey with the Tsar's new instructions had come to an end. has just driven into the park. Oh, very well. Come along. Let's go. My dearest, but this
this is madness. Such a long journey. You must be terribly tired. But I'm very flattered at your anxiety to be here at my side. Oh, Your Excellency, it was such a thrilling journey. Please look after my baggage, Louise. I had a very good reason, Sergei. What reason? The Tsar. Haji Murad, my good friend, the true glory of our people. We did not expect you to be here so soon. We had planned to give a grand reception for you, but it was for tomorrow. I'll be far away by tomorrow, and I need your help. Ah. Hmm. Go on now, go to the other room. You need more soldiers? You've guessed it. <sighs> that shouldn't be too difficult. But when is it ever going to end? War, war and more war. We long for peace. And you, you should stop fighting. Stay at home and think about getting married. Your son is at an age when he needs a mother. How is Yuzu? He's fine. <laughs> He's in the best of health. You need not worry about him. With my four wives, I've had no less than 19 children, but I've never seen such a live one as that boy is. <laughs> Allah bless him. Come in, everybody. Don't you know we have a guest in the house? Father! I'm so glad you're here. I was sure you'd come to see me this evening. I even told the others you would, but they wouldn't believe me. You see? What did I tell you? He came this evening, just as I said he would. Hey, boys, girls! <laughs> How many men have you killed today? With this sword, I'm not able to kill anybody. How can I? With an old piece of wood, you can't do anything. I will give you a real sword tomorrow, and I will give you permission to kill a couple of my wives. <laughs> then I'll be able to marry two others, and we'll be very happy together. <laughs> Father, please take me with you. You're too little. But when I grow up, then can I go with you to kill the Russians? By the time you're big enough, I think the war will be over. At least I hope so. No, no, no. It can't be. Because I know that if I wanted to, I could be a good soldier even now. Only she won't let me do it. Yusuf, it's time to go to bed. Come along, do as I say. What did I tell you? She treats me as though I were still a baby. Sultanet is a mother to perfection. Uh, she looks after your little boy. And if you would marry her and take her off my shoulders, she would give you more children and mother them also. She is strong and a good housekeeper. She's truly excellent. She's not like the good-for-nothings I had the misfortune to marry. <laughs> by what your father said? No. I'm used to his ways. For him, women are worth less than beasts. He's no different from all the other men. 
All other men, including me, you know I love you. Must I repeat it? Oh, you love me for five minutes when you come to see my father and meet me by chance. Then you go away again for months and you forget all about me. I'm tired of waiting for you and thinking of you while you are far away. You won't wait much longer. I promise. You keep me quiet with promises so I won't annoy you. But you don't care a thing about my feelings. Are you convinced of that? Why don't you take me away with you? My younger sister got married the other day. The man who was in love with her carried her off instead of bartering for her, as almost everybody does. And she's happy and satisfied. I couldn't stand to be traded for cattle. And someone has unfortunately already made an offer to my father for me. That but can. Yes. My father knows I don't love him. But he's tempted by his good offer. That's another reason why I'm angry with you for making me wait so long. I'd rather be an old maid all my life than marry that man. I'll carry you off to soften it, according to our customs. I only wish it were true. But you're going away again so soon. But I'll come back. I'll marry you and carry you away with me forever. shines the splendor of the rising sun. If I frightened you, please forgive me. What, you're blushing? That's very flattering. May I understand, perhaps, that my presence has finally caused your little heart to beat faster? No, let me go into the house. I am a powerful tribal chieftain, but in front of you, I become as awkward as a schoolboy, and you amuse yourself by torturing me. I must go, Ahmed. I'm thirsty. Give me a drink. You won't deny me a little water from your pitcher. No, no, no! You only think of your mighty hero, don't you? I've known about it for a good while. But you'll forget him very soon. You can take my guarantee for it. What do you mean by that? You'll wait for him a long time. he had undertaken in his meeting with Shamul, the white warrior was determined to liberate the valley of the river Terek, on which the rebel tribesmen depended for freedom of movement and communications in this mountainous region. It was imperative that he destroy the seemingly impregnable Russian fortress of Tabarasan. Why are they waiting so long to give the signal? I'm worried. The nitroglycerin could explode in their hands.
we'll give them the reception they deserve. They're really anxious to be slaughtered. even closer. Yes, sir, Captain. Prepare to open fire. father that Haji Murad will pay a visit to his house this evening and that he's bringing with him three magnificent lambs for the banquet. If you only knew how long I've waited for this moment. It seems like a dream.
Sultana. I wish someone like Haji Murad would come and carry me you off. You make all the girls in the village die of envy. I can't wait to see you dressed in your beautiful gown. <laughs> ah, Sultanet, my lovely daughter. Well, now you won't be able to say that I treat you badly, my beloved. If you knew how much this magnificent gown alone cost me, you'd never again have the courage to call me stingy. However, it would not be right to say that giving my daughter in marriage to Hachi Murad is not to be considered an honor to my house. This evening, as you all know, there will be a feast in celebration of his victory. Now, what do you want? Hachi Murad's servant has just arrived with three lambs for the bank. Ron, hurry, get into the kitchen. The dinner is not yet ready and the table has not even been set. Do you wish shame to come upon my house as it will if the guests arrive and find nothing ready? Look at yourself. Haji Mira, that our lives will be spared. Heavenly Father, protect us. dogs, Ajim Murad. Justice has been carried out. Who's responsible for this? Who gave the order? It was the will of the people. So you gave the order. What does it matter who gave the order? It looks very much like you have forgotten the Russians are our enemies, that they are the murderers of our wives and children. Because of you, I'm a chieftain without honor. You have thrown mud upon our victory. <laughs> have you two lost your minds? I demand justice, Shamil. I will not go back on my word. Since when have you become so tender-hearted with the Russians? Perhaps since they'd have begun to sell you these so-called victories at a good price. I'm waiting for your word, Shamil. If you don't respect your allies, there's no justice or honor in you. Is my loyalty to be repaid with the slaughter of my prisoners? Of your prisoners, you say? Who is king here? You or is it Shamil? You're getting old, King Shamil. Your judgment is weakening if you're willing to put up with a scoundrel like him. Do you dare to insult me in this manner before my people? I've always loved you as my own son. You have forgotten the respect that you owe me. I must have a sign of repentance and of submission from you. Only then will I be to you once again a father and a loyal friend. There's no justice here. Whoever is still faithful among you, come with me. 
Haji Murad is here. Hush, calm down, woman. Be quiet, all of you. Haji Murad, my dear old friend. What a terrible thing. What a disaster for our unhappy country. Just when we needed to stand together and on the very day of your wedding. And now, naturally, we've had to cancel all preparations. And my poor Sultanette, she's terribly upset. If you could see her. I've come to get Sultanette as I promised. Do you mean to say that despite everything, you still want to marry her and take her with you? Oh. Are you sad? Not anymore. I've forgotten Shamil, Dakmit Khan, and everything else. I've never been so happy before. But will you be happy with me? I have no friends, and my future is uncertain. I will be your friends, and your future, and everything. Just as you are for me. When you're away, I'm afraid. And the world becomes a horrible place. But when you're with me, my fear disappears, and life is wonderful. Don't ever leave me again. I never will, I promise you. Tomorrow, your father will give us his blessing, and then we'll go to my people. I've never been to your country. I'm sure you'll love it, as much as I do. Having you is enough to make me happy. And little Yusuf, he'll come with us, too. He never knew his mother. She died when he was born. You'll bring him up. I will love him as if he were my own son. During all these years, every time you were far away from me, I looked into his eyes long and deeply. And it seemed to me that it was you and not he that looked back at me. We'll be so happy from now on. We'll never leave each other again. It's only my horse.
Hajimura, give yourself up. You're surrounded. he has joined the Russians, he can take vengeance on us. No, I can't believe it of him. Forgive me for speaking so plainly, but it was your excessive indulgence which has brought him to this. He had become ambitious, and it was his ambition that turned him against us. He is at the Russian headquarters now, and perhaps at this very moment the Russians possess the plans we had kept so secret. We will have to abandon the Black Mountains. We'll never do that. Never, I tell you. Friendship. Honor, loyalty, they're all words that have no meaning. As long as I live, I'll never have faith in anyone again. You must have faith only in me. We still have one important advantage over him. His wife and his young son are both in our hands. Haji Murad must be denounced at once as a traitor to his people. It must be proclaimed in every village that no one may offer him assistance under any circumstances whatsoever without incurring the severest punishment. Give me the authority to arrange for these provisions to be carried out. These things must be done at once, do you understand? Yes. I know they must be done. I want to see Haslam Bay. Yes, it's important. Lambay, Elder, Haji Murad's friend, insist on seeing you. In the name of heaven, whatever possessed you to come here? Do you want Ahmed Khan to kill us all? Where is Sultanette? How could I possibly know that? Haji Murad himself carried her away. But you must leave immediately. No one must know you were here. We've had enough trouble. They even sent the soldiers here, and they took Haji Murad's son away by force. Yes, sir. Yes, but tell me, is it true? They are saying that Haji Murad has betrayed our cause and has gone over to the Russians. Do you believe that's true? Well, I, I don't know. What does it matter what I believe? The only thing I'm sure of is, if they find you here, we are doomed. You don't have to worry. I'm leaving. Are you feeling any better now? Do you have any more pain? I am your physician, your doctor. Oh, doesn't he understand Russian? Perfectly, but he refuses to speak. Well.
I'm glad to make your acquaintance at last, Haji Murad. Pull yourself up. His Excellency represents the Tsar. No, no, absolutely not. He mustn't tire himself. He's wounded. I'm sorry about what has happened, but you know what they say in love and in war. Let's hope it turns out to be a case of love, huh? <laughs> How is he? The prisoner will feel stronger in a few days, Your Excellency. Prisoner? I hope you will consider yourself my guest. But what's the matter with him? Doesn't he understand? Now listen to me, Haji Murad. I made every possible effort to bring you here because there were several important things I wanted to discuss with you. I have heard that you have withdrawn your people from the war against us. And I know the causes of the difference of opinion between you and Shamil. You seem to be a reasonable man. I want to negotiate the peace with you. Not now. When you are feeling better. Hmm, very well. I hope you will be comfortable here. And that you'll discover that you are among friends. After all, we are no longer at war, you and I, are we? I see that you are still a little upset and not inclined to conversation. Well, there's no hurry. Please. I hope you will accept this small gift as a token of my esteem. Among your people, you have the custom of an exchange of gifts between host and guest. I'm familiar with your customs, you see. You're nothing but a vile traitor. As soon as I'm out of here, I'll tell what you did. Who would believe the rumor that it was I who turned Haji Murad over to the Russians? Instead, everyone is convinced he is a traitor. Who went to join our enemies of his own free will. No one will ever be able to prove the contrary since the desertion of Edino. Shamil will believe what I say. He'll believe me, I tell you. The king is very ill and doesn't believe anyone anymore. He has completely lost faith in humanity. He now believes only in me. Perhaps you don't know it yet, but I have become very powerful. More powerful than you could ever imagine. And therefore, you have everything to gain by marrying me.
You're a stubborn minx. But I like you all the better for it because I know you're not afraid of anything. I hope our children will resemble you. If you take another step, I'll kill myself. Perhaps you don't realize it, but in the end, you'll come to love me willingly. And then you'll beg me to marry you. Attempted to kill himself, didn't he? He will come to tea with us before the week is over. As docile as a lamb. Let's hope he knows how to play cards. We can always teach him, you know. Uh, yes. Mrs. Vorontsov. I should have known it. The joke was at my expense. I don't want to amuse myself at your expense. I'm sorry about all this. I wanted to tell you that I'm grateful to you for your behavior during our first meeting. I promise that you will not be mistreated. Hmm. Your husband told me the same thing. I'm not a prisoner. We are friends. These are the tokens of friendship. We had to protect you against yourself. I would rather be dead than held here. No. You must live. What do you care if I live or die? Your people have need of you. Only you can help them. By making a pact with your husband and dragging my people in slavery to the Tsar? Is that why he sent you? He didn't send me to you. I would really like to help you. Is this how you helped me? You took me prisoner. My people are without a leader, and my son has no one to defend him. You could see him again very soon. Why won't you negotiate? Sooner or later, there must be peace. Why not now? The Russians will only crush our country again. trying to break into the villa. We killed one of them, Your Excellency, and captured another. The rest of them got away. Where is the one you caught? We took him down into the underground cells. He seemed a rather obstinate individual, if I may say so, but our men are taking care of that now. Well, right, let's go. Come, let me look at you. Who are you? It's no use. He refuses to talk, Your Excellency. He has only told us that his name is Elder. However, we've been informed that he is the right-hand man of Haji Murad. Oh. I see. It's just as I... Well? Try to pass the night comfortably, since it is to be your last one. Continue. Forgive me, Your Excellency. Are we to execute him tomorrow? I don't know. Perhaps it will be useful. Ah, 
Good morning, my dear friend. I hope you slept well. It was a rather upsetting night for all of us. Take a glance over there. One elder! Platoon! Halt! Left flank! Turn! Last night we caught him as he was prowling about the garden. Evidently he wanted to help you to escape. Very generous and praiseworthy. His friendship deserves a better recompense on your part. What do you mean? I mean that because of you, he will be shot in... exactly three minutes. What do you want me to do? Nothing that is dishonorable. I only want to discuss the conditions of the peace with you. Platoon, attention! In exactly one minute, the captain will give the order to fire. Aim! But you still have time to save your friend's life. Decide. Time is flying. Very well. Tell your men to untie me. Bad news. Four of our garrisons have been attacked. Several officers and soldiers were killed. It's evident that these rebels are beginning to suspect our weakness. But if you succeed with our plan, with our plan? You mean yours and the Tsar's? A fine plan indeed to try to convince that savage to come to a diplomatic agreement. I have been talking with Haji Murad all day long, trying to get him to sign a treaty, but he refuses. He continues to discuss and postpone. He's trying to gain time. If I had my way, I'd have his head carried through all the villages as a good example. They would understand that. They understand nothing but terror. You must insist. His people love him. If you should kill him, they would all turn against us. I'm not so sure of that. Listen to my suggestion. Let's try to convince him again. He will become our friend, and his people will too. The Tsar is right. It's the only sensible way. You mustn't kill him. Do you understand? What a brilliant defense, Maria. One would say that you were his lawyer, not... I'm only trying to assist you. Forgive me. For a moment, I was almost becoming jealous. Hmm. Stupid, isn't it? It's my nerves. Trying to make that madman listen to reason has worn me out. Well, if he doesn't want to sign, we'll have to persuade him by stronger means. What do you mean? There are many ways of making him give in. For example, crushing his fingers one by one, slowly, while he screams and screams, maddened with pain. Forgive me. I didn't mean to frighten you. You are so tender. Even that savage excites your pity. I envy him. He seems to have upset you. You can't believe such a thing, Sergei. Certainly not. Otherwise, I think I would torture that man to death with a great deal more pleasure. Good night.
Haji Murad, you are in terrible danger. I know that. No, you don't understand. You are in my husband's hands. He can do whatever he likes with you. His only reason for not hurting you is the hope that you will sign the treaty. Today you managed to gain time, but you can't go on this way. I'll never deliver my people into your hands. But the Tsar will allow you to govern your people. He told me so himself. He's made those promises before. He flatters and cajoles because he hopes to subdue us and enslave us forever. But can't you understand? You must give in sooner or later. The Tsar is too powerful. Why don't you do it now and gain an advantage? You could be free and live in peace. Yes, free to forget the murders and slaughter of the Russians. You can't keep on hating them forever. You must have a home and a life one day. Without freedom. Oh. But isn't there any way out? Have you made up your mind to be tortured to death? I can't stand it. It's all my fault. If I hadn't come here with the message from the Tsar, they wouldn't have tried to capture you. You would still be free. You mustn't reproach yourself. After all, you are on their side. I'm not on anybody's side. But I know that I'll never have a moment's peace if anything happens to you. Why won't you listen to me? I have a lot of influence in St. Petersburg. You will be received at court like a great king with all honors. And you and I would no longer be enemies. I'm not your enemy. But would you be happy if you had to live in the mountains among a strange people in a world that could never become yours? Certainly not. And I, would I be happy at your court? A savage among the civilized Russians. Is that what you want? I want you to be safe and sound. That is what I want. Why does it matter so much to you? Because... Because I admire you. I believe you are a generous man, ready to sacrifice everything for what you believe in. And that... is so fine. Poor little boy. He's the son of a traitor. You have dared to defy the authority of the king. You have attempted the abduction of the son of Haji Murad from the king to whose care he was entrusted. Your death and that of the son of a renegade will serve as an example to all traitors. There's only one traitor amongst us, and you know very well who he is. And now the boy. Yusuf! Yusuf! No! No! No, stop on this! Come here! Come back here! Pity! Have we can't pity. afford to have pity for traitors. Save his life, I beg you. I will be yours. No, my dear. I want you to accept me freely and willingly. I accept you. I accept you. Swear it. Yes, yes, I swear it. I swear it. <laughs> King Shamil, my betrothed wife intercedes for the son of the traitor. And I also intercede with her. And perhaps the boy will be more useful to us alive. He will be a valuable hostage. Yes. He is your prisoner. I entrust him to you. The boy's pardon is granted. Yusuf! How long will it take to deliver this? In three days, it will be in the hands of Haji Murad. You don't believe he's a traitor, do you? Oh, no, no, no one believes he is. But we are all afraid. We are in terror of our lives all the time. Hurry.
think I'm a traitor. You know that's not true. Then you must tell them. You see? These are the people for whom you want to risk your life. These hyenas who have revolted against you, calling you a traitor, are now about to kill your son. While I offer you glory, freedom, and vengeance. I only have to give the order and your son will be here within three days. Ahmed Khan will see to it that he is delivered safe and sound into my hands. Ah Ahmed Khan? This is all his work. Not a very clean individual, huh? He has betrayed all of you. He was very useful to me. But I am ready to drop him as soon as he has served my purposes. The people hate him, but they love you. That is why I need you. If I could only get my hands on him. That shouldn't that be, be difficult. difficult. You only have to sign this. Otherwise, your heroism will save neither you nor your son. And Ahmed Khan will receive the crown from the hands of the Tsar himself. Jamil will discover who it is that's betraying him. I don't think so. By now, it's too late. Akhmet Khan has already decided to remove Shamil from our path. There are deadly poisons which work very quickly. Will you sign? I won't sign. I'll never sign it. To our beloved sovereign, Tsar Nicholas I, Emperor of all the Russias, to him who protects us and who is our leader, let us, with the greatest reverence, raise our glasses. Long live the Tsar! Long live the Tsar! stubborn savage, are you going to sign this? No. Oh! Your Excellency, the Princess wishes to speak to you most urgently. What is she? In Your Excellency's study. Haji Murad. He's in good hands, my dear. Then it's true. And I didn't want to believe it. You've had him tortured. I'm sorry they told you. I wanted to give you a surprise. Because I knew it would make you so glad. I mean, he's going to sign the treaty. A triumph, my dear. A triumph of your superb diplomacy. In a month, we'll be back in St. Petersburg. Everyone will admire you. And they will envy me because I have such a clever wife. The Tsar will pay you many compliments, as usual. And I, as usual, will be happy to bathe in your reflected glory. Let him go free. My dear, you are behaving in a very strange manner. I repeat, Sergei. I want you to let him go free. It depends on him. Come now, my dear, control yourself. If you don't set him free, I'll kill you. 
Then you're in love with him. Yes, I love him. I love him. Well, what do you have to say? That I'm crazy? I certainly will be for all those who are wallowing in vice and hypocrisy like you are and are unable to comprehend the soul of a man who is ready to die for an ideal. But I do understand him. I understand and admire him. And I know that he will never surrender to a coward like you. Let me go. The devil, get out! But Your Excellency, had you murders decided to sign? Bring him here. You see? Your plan was successful after all. So this is your hero. This is the man whom you considered to be so worthy of your respect. But he is no more heroic than some highway robber in a story for children. <laughs> and you fell in love with him, my poor Maria. Come now, let's forget all that has happened. You have always been a bit romantic, my dear. And the air of this country has gone to your head a bit. It'll pass off as soon as we get back to St. Petersburg. No. Stay here. My victory is your victory. It's only right that you should enjoy it too. I see that you are dressed to suit the occasion. Are you still ready to sign? Yes, I'll sign. You've won. I was foolish to hold out. A cigar? May I have my son back? First, you must sign. Will you pre Elder too? When you have signed. Forgive me, General, but I prefer that it be done first. It's my fault that he's here. Very well. He will be a witness to our pact. Bring the prisoner here. Unshackle him and bring him a chair. Do you feel ill, Princess Maria? Please leave me alone. This is a day of joy for you as well. From today, your master is my friend. And you are a subject of his imperial majesty. The end justifies the means. Follow my example if you love freedom. Thank you. 
You mustn't be so sad. This will be a very happy day for you. You'll see. You'll be queen and reign with me. The news of the white warrior's escape spread like wildfire. The mountain tribesmen rallied to his banner. Soon he had a powerful force at his command with which to try and overthrow the treacherous Ahmed Khan and save his country and his loved ones from the enemy. We will go down into the village for our wedding ceremony. I want everyone to be happy, in peace at last.